Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about Steal Me by Jojo Moyes. This is the third book in the Me Before You series and I have to say, despite it being controversial, I really love that book. I love the romance, I love Louisa Clark. Louisa Clark is one of my favourite main characters of all time. She's just so funny and heartwarming. She's just so kind-hearted down to her core and so authentic. She feels like a real English girl as someone who lives here. I know people that are like her and I just love that. So I would say if you read the first two books and then were feeling disappointed after the third one, you definitely should give this a go. I know a lot of people are not sure if they're going to read this and so I thought I'd just, you know, answer that straight away. If you've read the first two, then definitely go on to this. I feel like it's so much better than the second book but also so much worse than the first. So if you read the second book and were disappointed, read this because I think it redeems itself and of course Louisa is her lovely wonderful self. She has matured but you can tell that she's still the same person and if like me you just love reading about that character, it's like catching up with an old friend, then you definitely should give this a go. However, if you've just read the first book and are wondering about continuing the series on, if I went back in time, honestly, I would just read the first one and stay there. Your imagination can create the perfect happy ending for Louisa in any way you want, whereas if you read the books, it might not be how you want it to be. That's all I can say. If I would go back in time, I would just read the one. So that should answer your question about whether you read on. And now I'll go on to my likes and dislikes. So my first like is very obvious. I love Louisa. Her character is just still so great. She's still one of my favourites and I love seeing her grow and develop. We also meet lots of new characters, which I really enjoy. And I think character is something Jojo Moyes really excels at. Her characters are always so well-rounded and they feel like real people and even the minor ones get quite a big backstory and they get time to develop and we really see that with this. And as much as I love meeting the new characters, even more than that, I really loved revisiting the old ones catching up and seeing how they're all doing so that was a big plus for me and then in terms of the dislikes the main thing I didn't like about this was the size of it it's about 500 pages maybe 450 500 pages for a contemporary book I just think it's too long for the type of book it is and to me it slowed everything down and so I didn't feel as engaged as I would have liked to be and there are a lot of everyday things included that I feel like if they were cut out we would have had a much more fast-paced engaging story so unfortunately the length really did bring this down quite a lot for me I mean some people like slower, less tragic stories, which is kind of how this one is. It's still eventful, but the events are a lot more everyday, I would say, and the length just made that worse, I would say. There's no nice way to say it. The length really was a downside for me, so you should be aware of that before you start it. But back onto the things I did like, I really liked how this wasn't just a romance, a lot of us, by this point, we're so invested in Louisa's life that we just want to see how she's doing in various aspects of her life and that's done really well. So many parts of her life are explored, whether that be with family. The family relationships are one of the strong points in this book. They're just so wholesome and lovely to read about. Also, Louisa's career and then the relationship as well so there's a lot you find out a lot about Louisa and it's not just a romance it's about all of her all aspects of her life and I really enjoyed that another thing I loved about this book 
was that there were so many parts of Will scattered throughout and I don't want to spoil it for you but there's a lot more Will in this book than I was expecting so that's all I'll say. You have to read it to find out but I really liked that and it really tugged on my heartstrings and I think it's realistic. After going through what Louisa did I feel like it was relevant to bring Will back in the way that he was. See this is because I can't spoil you you're probably really confused about that so you have to read it but there are little pieces of Will scattered throughout and if you're like a die-hard <laughs> Me Before You fan then I think you'll really enjoy that as I did and what I'm going to say next is spoilery of book two so if you've read After You that's okay if you haven't read that one yet then skip until the book is turned back around so what I will say is that I wasn't a fan of Sam in After You I felt like things moved too quickly and he undermined Louisa quite a lot I felt like he wasn't happy that she was still in love with Will and he didn't accept that as fully as I think he should have. Now in this book obviously she's still with Sam because that's how the last book ended. I still wasn't a massive fan of him so there's that but at the same time I kind of realised that no one would compare to Will so no matter who she was with I wouldn't like it as much as Will but on the flip side I also came to realise that as long as Louisa was happy with whoever she was with then I would be happy with that and I feel like that gave me a lot more peace with the book and with the series because in the last one I just felt like she needed someone who was as perfect as Will whereas this one you kind of learn as you go along that as long as Louise is happy then we are happy with that as well. Okay so that's the end of the spoilery section for After You so you can listen again now. Lastly I would just like to say that even though this didn't compare to the first one it still is a lovely self-discovery story in its own right and I really liked that. We don't have many stories that are about self-discovery in the way this is. I think books nowadays are really romance heavy. Even fantasy, I've realised, is that way. But this one was quite a refreshing change and of course it has Louisa in. So if you love Louisa, probably give this a go. It's so nice to see her again and to see how she's doing. So you need to decide for yourself if you will read it but I don't think you will regret it if you do. So I think that's all I wanted to say. Please feel free to start a discussion in the comments. I would love to chat to you about this. None of my friends have yet have read it yet so I need someone to talk about it with. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!